Chamisa says Zimbabwe needs exorcism main opposition MDC alliance leader Nelson Chamisa has said Zimbabwe needs to be exorcised by the church as it is too polarized and cannot move forward as a nation. Chamisa said this while addressing mourners at the burial of former MDCT proportional representation MP Fanny Sharissa in Harare on Sunday. The role that churches play in politics is important. This woman was a unifier and I am disappointed that Parliament is not here at the funeral. We were supposed to have Zainu PF and MDC legislators here, Shamiza said. Our country is too polarized. We have political differences, but what we don't know is that this will end. The church must be allowed to gather even in these COVID-19 times. We need prayers to exorcise demons in this country. There are demons in our pockets, there are demons everywhere, he said. The MDC Alliance president said the late former President Robert Mugabe and MDCT founding leader Morgan Changarai had fierce political clashes in their lifetime, and could possibly be regretting that now if they were alive. As we speak, Changarai and Mugabe are no longer here, but they fought viciously. They could be regretting why they fought like that. We do not want that culture of fighting and failing to make the country to move forward, he said. Shamiza has in the past claimed that he was under siege, with state machinery being used to decimate his MDC alliance. He accuses government of using the police and army to decimate his party and the ongoing opposition fights that have seen 32 of his MPs recalled from parliament by his MDCT nemesis the Kozani Coup. More than 160 MDC alliance councillors have also been booted out by Coup in a nasty fight for leadership within the MDC. Shamiza's party headquarters, the Morgan Richard Changarai House, has also been taken over by the MDCT with the assistance of the police and army. Zainu PF has, however, distanced itself from the MDC internal fights, while the MDCT has accused Shamiza's party of not following the opposition constitution.